Lights. Camera. Action. Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here with my review of the global Xiaomi Mi 11. This device was sent out to me by Xiaomi and I've been loving my time with this phone. Now I have reviewed the China version of this phone for a month, but there are some key differences between that variant and this global version that we're reviewing today. And at a price that will be announced on February 8th, I think this is one of the best flagship phones you'll be able to buy in this first half of 2021. Let's have a look. But first, let's start with the unboxing. Here we go. And talking about design, we have an 8.1 millimeter, 196 gram phone, and this matte blue Xiaomi, you knocked it out of the park. In strong lighting, this color is just spectacular, and it really is a pleasure to use this device on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's made even better with this 6.81 inch WQHD plus 120 hertz display, which is definitely one of the highlights of this phone. But you can also switch to full HD plus and 60 hertz if you want to conserve power. All in all, with very small bezels, top and bottom, you have a very modern looking front to this device. But the curves, I will admit, look a little bit strange, but you do get used to them over time. And this display is excellent for watching content, playing games like Genshin Impact, and more. And with L1 security level on board, you will have HD Netflix support out of the box on this Xiaomi Mi 11. It's an L1 party on Frankie Tech. Guys, the design and the display of the Xiaomi Mi 11 are the two key highlights. From this gorgeous matte blue back on this phone, the camera module which has grown on me, and this beautiful 6.81 WQHD 120 hertz display. I think these are the key aspects of why you would want to pick up this phone as an upgrade from the previous Mi 10 series. And talking about performance, the Snapdragon 888 is on board with eight gigs of DDR5 RAM, 128 gigs of UFS, 3.1 storage, solid respectable scores from this phone. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. Does this phone overheat? Look, if you're doing intense and to do benchmarks or extreme, gaming with the Mi 11, you will run into issues. But that is only in the most extreme of settings. Yes, overheating is an issue, but not in daily use. The Snapdragon 888 is a beast. Now it isn't a big jump over the 865, I would say, but you're gonna appreciate the extra power in this Xiaomi Mi 11. This is a beast of a chipset. And with a 4,600 milliamp battery, getting me around 10 hours of active use, I easily can get through a day and then some with this Xiaomi Mi 11. And with that 55 watt charging that I mentioned, you'll be able to get from zero to 100 on this phone in just under 50 minutes. And at WQHD plus 120 Hertz, is this thing gonna last you a full day? It will. Now it's not gonna be a powerhouse, you know, two day battery life with these settings, but you can always lower it. You can always go 60 Hertz if you need to. So I don't think this is a huge concern, but I'd rather have this amazing display and refresh rate than lower these settings. And the Mi 11 can do just that. In terms of comms, we have Wi-Fi 6, dual band NFC, Bluetooth, 5G bands 20 and 28 support, giving me solid 5G scores in my testing. And the fingerprint scanner is optical in display. It works really seamlessly, really fluidly. And guys, the haptic motor on this phone is one of the best on the market. Truly great. 
And with Harman Kardon tuned dual speakers, this is one of the best audio experiences I've had on any phone this year. Have a listen. And getting to the cameras with a 108 megapixel main camera, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro. What's the omission here? No telephoto. You're gonna have to wait for the 11 Pro, but it's a pretty solid suite of cameras with 4K 60 FPS video, including these movie effects we'll cover in a minute. You know, I gotta say, honestly, guys, I love the camera performance of the Xiaomi Mi 11. It's not the best camera I've used. There are plenty others with telephoto cameras that do a better job, but in terms of just general day-to-day -day use, you're gonna have a great time shooting with this phone. And now here are my samples with this global Xiaomi Mi 11, including my movie effect samples. Let's have a look. And here's a little rear-facing video on the Xiaomi Mi 11 walking down the trail. And this is front-facing video on the Mi 11 shooting in full HD 60. And here are two of my favorite movie effects on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Parallel Worlds, it does almost like a, an Inception style image, inverted, incredible. And night mode has been greatly improved on the Xiaomi Mi 11. Now there is the occasional autofocus issues, especially with moving subjects, but you're getting much brighter video than you would on a typical smartphone. And now the final verdict. So is the global version as good as the China variant I've been testing for the past month? Absolutely, and even better. With multi-language support, Google apps built in, and just the whole setup that you have with Mi UI 12 on this Mi 11. This is a terrific phone, only made better with this global release. If you're looking for one of the best flagship phones in the first half of 2021, look no further than the Xiaomi Mi 11. And that's a wrap. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this global Xiaomi Mi 11? Do you think this phone is worth the money? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Ranky Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Thanks once again to Xiaomi for sending this one out. Stay tuned for more great content of this global Mi 11 here on the channel. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one.